We stand on the soil of a brand new world. A savanna world in a system we did not start in. We are now in the Canum system where we have our home system way back here on Polaris. And Polaris has, uh, you know, we have our, we got all of our stuff and things going on here. I'm wondering if the aliens have started landing again. I don't see any aliens landed there. The dark fog is not attacked yet on those. Let's check out Polaris 2. See nothing on Polaris 2 going on. And how about on Polaris 4? Nope, that looks like all my my activity. But we welcome back everybody to Dyson Sphere program Dark Fog in the Polaris episode in the Polaris series. We are um on a brand new world. We are getting oh, we got some warpers that just came in. That's awesome. And we are setting up this world to basically offload most of its resources back to our home system, especially the 10 million silicon this system has. That's going to that's going to benefit us greatly. That's going to benefit us so much. And the oil that we have here too is going to help be very helpful as well. <clears throat> Cuz this planet has almost as much oil as my home no actually more oil than my home planet started with. So that's pretty that's pretty dang cool. All right, so let's go down here and get a few more um let's get the silicon ore uh harvested up. We got coal there as well. We got silicon veins all here and titanium veins. Oh, you know, one thing I need to do before we do anything else is I do need to set up a defensive system here just in case. I don't know if the dark fog is going to attack here or not. I don't know if they will. I don't know if they can. But we're going to set up some... Uh, we're going to set up one of those here. We do need to give it power. So let's dr jump one of those out. And we do need to build a little foundation around here. All right. And then this one has... No, that one does not. This one here has rockets in it, right? Yes, it does. Okay. We're pretty much going to probably have to do this on all of our systems. Because I do not know how the dark fog actually reacts to you going to other systems. If they will attack you, or if they will just like ignore you, or if they hunt you, or what they do to you. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna lay out missile systems on these planets because the missiles seem to be pretty effective so far against these guys. Oh, did I, not, did I not build that properly there? I did not build that properly there. There we go. I do have more. Yes, I have more of those. That's perfect. So let's give us a nice little perimeter defense around the most valuable stuff. And then we do need to power it, of course. All right. That's all powered now. And um, actually, I'm going to... I'm gonna take that down from there. I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna sort of put that in the center if I can. Or as close to, actually, you know what? Let's put one on this side. And one on that side, just to have, just to sort of have the mirror, the mirror effect a little bit.
just for the future. I don't know if we'll need these or not in here, but it's good to have them, I guess. There we go. Okay, so we got those set up, and then all we need to do then is when we want to have a area that can be protected, we can just put out, we can put out these, these signal towers. I mean, this stuff is going to protect it all up here anyway without signal tower at all, but if we want to have our stuff covered... We can put out signal towers that will actually help our our different areas be protected. Like these signal towers here should protect all the stuff that they're covering. So if any enemies come in these areas, they will they will hopefully shoot it down. With missiles. The missiles can now reach those areas. Alright, so we got the stat there. Let's go ahead and put a Got a lot of iron there. We got those there. If I put another planetary logistics center, like right over here on this plane. We can get a lot of stuff going into it. <clears throat> and we can build over to this coal. We can build over to this coal. The coral! Oh, the coal! Actually, this might not be a bad planet. Hmm. Let's think about this for a second. If I wanted to have a planet that's good prol for proliferator stuff, there could be worse planets. Because I can take that spin form and turn it right into car carbon nanotubes here. And then have this sort of be my proliferator planet if I wanted to. That's a little ways down the road, though. I'm, I'm thinking a little too far ahead, I think. I mean, it's good to think far ahead, don't get me wrong. But I may be thinking a little too far ahead. I really haven't done a lot of proliferation on this on this run. I really have not. I usually do way more proliferation than I have. Okay, let's go ahead and get down a... Go ahead and get this, this system kind of taken care of here. stalagmite crystals in there and those will supply yep those are already supplying out that's awesome let's go ahead and get this iron and that and there's an oil seep over here as well I guess I could just take this oil seep and, and take it over to that other place that I have over there. We've got iron and coal here, so let's get these down. That's a big, that's a big, wow, two million coal. How much coal does this place have? 12 million on it. Oh, that is tempting. <sighs> that is tempting. You know what? Nope, I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send this all back here. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna create. Uh, we're gonna create. Uh, 
We're going to create our proliferator paint here. Because why not? We have so much coal on this planet. 12 million coal is a great way to get our proliferator paint going. And so if we change that and we make that blue proliferator paint. And we local demand it. We can start bringing that off this planet. Wow, look at all that. Wow, look at all that. Look at all the crystals. Look at all the, uh, the silicon that we have going. Um, okay, so that's got coal. That's got... Okay, so local demand. Local demand. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do the titanium ore instead. Put on, all those on local demand. Yeah, we're going to... We're going to... We're going to do that. Um... Because, yeah, we can set that up here super duper easy. Yep. So that much coal, we can make a lot of, of a proliferator paint. And we also have the stalagmite crystals here as well, so... We got that going for us too. Okay, that's all of those veins. So I think, do I want to bring the coal up to there and then have it sort of shunted out from that location? Where would be a good place to make the... Probably down at this pole here. Yep, it's going to be down at that pole there that's going to be best to make it. I'm going to set up a little defensive system here. There we go. We will take the iron out of this place and bring that back home for sure. Not a lot of iron on this planet, but there is some. There we go. I mean, it has, what, 7 million iron on the planet. I guess that's not, that's not nothing to sneeze at. All right, redundancy. build I want to build to that line right there I think I'm gonna bring it out that way and then build across there we go have one little piece down here that's not done that guy's coming down to it there you go good job buddy good job I guess that won't help because it's not powered. And the iron will be for supply. Okay, so I don't have I don't have any spin form coming up there any longer, right? No, okay. Um, I do want the silicon to come into this place, though. And, um, the coal I'm gonna leave. We got lots of silicon around here. And I guess I can put the stone... I can have the stone come in here, too. And those could, those could all be on supply for this, this place. I 
I do need some protection for this too, though. I did put one protective out right there. Put another protective like right over in here. Get these stone reserves going. The thing I like about this planet is even though these reserves have lots of materials in them, the actual footprint of them is usually pretty small. This is like one of the larger footprints that I've seen, and even it's not that bad. Can I get all of those in one swoop? And get that there. Yeah, this one's a little more complicated. For sure, there we go. There we go. All right, so let's get these offloading into this place. There's more materials for back home. God, I need to I need to build these out here more. This, do they help with the they help with the building so much? Okay, so stone's already getting put in there now. All right, so I'm gonna need two, two going into one. Stupid foundation material. I'm having to use it everywhere here. I was bothering my perceptions there. There we go. That looks much better. All right, so our construction drone's uh, flight speed has been increased, which is really nice. All right, so this one I'm going to bring over... Like that. This one's just gonna come straight down like that. That's gonna come straight down there. And that little fella is just gonna come straight down like that. There we go, get some more silicon flowing. I'm sure that our silicon up here is like completely full now. Yep, our silicon up there is, like, extremely full. I'm actually going to crank this up to 120 on the charging. It's going to tank our, our, our power here a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, we're running very high, very high on our power right now. One thing I could do to alleviate that a little bit is I could go ahead and put out... A few more, uh, a few more of these towers. Got a hundred and four of them. At least this will get us get us a few more wind turbines. It'll help with the power a little bit. It's another 70 some wind turbines. So each one of those will add up and give us a little more power here and there.
All right, there we go. All right, so that's transferring all those over. Now we got to figure out what I want to do with this coal. Yeah, I think I think we're going to be setting ourselves up for some uh some very spicy uh fun stuff here. Cuz we're going to be making ourselves a whole bunch of proliferator paint. And we like I said, we haven't really done that yet, so We'll just take that right in there. That'll feed some more oil into that. Not that it really needs it at this point, but we have that oil, a nice oil will well already there. So we might as well take advantage of it. There's nothing worse than it going to waste and we can always use it later on. So Is that one, what is this one covering here? That one's covering to there. That one's covering there. We have that covering there. And yeah, I think I'll put one out here. These things also act as power towers, which is kind of wild. You can actually link, you can actually link power to them, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm going to use an interstellar here. And then we're going to load it up with ships. And those, I'm going to put 100 in there. We're going to have the proliferator paint mark 2s or th mark 3s eventually be in here. And that's going to be local supply. Actually, you know what? No, let's get coal in here first. And then, um, I want to bring the, yeah, I want to bring that here. I'm going to have that local demand. I was going to put them both on local demand and remote storage, remote storage. I'm not going to have those. I'm not going to have those send them anywhere. We do need, oh, that's one thing we do need to do is bring a few warpers over here. Local demand the warpers. And we just need to bring some power down here. Uh, yep, that put a that put a nice chunk in our that, that'll slow down once it's actually charged up though So I'm not too worried about that right now Now to make the proliferator paint mark one all we need is coal mark two All we need is coal because diamonds are made from coal as well or energetic graphene So we'll need to make energetic graphene and then make that into diamonds and then turn that into proliferator mark two Then for mark three That's where it's gonna get tricky because we need the uh, carbon nanotubes and carbon nanotubes are made with the spin form, which we are actually harvesting right on this planet here. And I'm going to supply that to that, that station there. And there's the bots. There's the bots, baby. Oh, yeah. Here comes the bots. Here comes the bots. Wow. Okay, yeah, the bots are the bots are just killing it now. Woo, okay. 
Now, you can look around your planet like this. I'm going to look at these here and see what they're doing. It doesn't appear that I'm transferring any uh, any crystals out of here, which is kind of confusing. I, uh, the silicon ore, I could have sworn I had silicon ore slated to go off this planet or go off planet and set to remote supply. It is taking some, it is taking some crude oil. Interesting. Well, I think our first order business is that we need to... See where the rest of this coal is at. Okay, we've got coal veins there and there. And another coal vein right there. So if we take all those up to the, up to the pole... Actually, you know what? We have enough planetary logistics that we can just do it this way. That's covering that, right? Okay. Actually, you know what? Hold on a second. We got a silicon vein right here. Let's try to get let's try to get as let's try to get as much as we can out of this. God, that is a hor that is a horrible makeup for that vein. That vein's in a it, it, it's very it's a very odd an odd shape that part's not bad that part's not bad yeah that's that is a hor that is a horrible vein I take back everything I was saying about, oh, I, I like the veins on this planet. They're really pretty nice. No, they suck. They suck. They kind of suck. There's another one. It's like they make you they make you think they're gonna be nice to you, and then they're just like, yeah, nah. Yeah, I'm just putting all these out because I want to get all this coal kind of locked down. And then we'll figure out how we're going to protect it, how we're going to power it. Wait a second, I didn't get that I didn't get that coal vein there, did I? There we go. That'll get that one. We got one more vein of stuff here that we're going to take real quick. That's why I brought all these miners. All right. So the iron I'm going to take over to that one there. Yep. So let's get a tower here for this. That's sort of protecting that a little bit. Now they'd have to be really sneaky to sneak in there. Okay, so let's lay down the tracks for this. I got about 1,300 left, so we're going to be pushing it a little bit. But that's okay. 
we'll need to go back to Homeworld here in, a, in, in next next in next episode anyway, so that we can actually, you know, restock, regroup. Some more iron going in there. All right, there's the iron. We got coal set up. So I think next time, boys and girls, we're gonna get our, we're gonna work on getting all these hooked up with power as well as protection. Get the silicon going down here. Get the coal all going up to this station up here. And we got the spin form already there. So we can start getting our type one uh, proliferator paint going then we can get the type two and then we can start working on the type three um but we also need to at some point make a return trip back to our home system because um i'm sure at this point there's probably going to be some nasty stuff going on in the polaris system it would not surprise me in the least bit if they're already trying to get stuff going on on my other planets here even if I can't see it now, it wouldn't surprise me in the least bit if they were doing it. But we're going to have to do that next time. So thank you, everybody, for coming by. If you like this, if you enjoyed this one, don't forget to hit that like button. Check out the subscribe button as well down below and hit that. Also, check out the membership button. And I will see you next time for more Dyson Sphere Program Dark Fog in our Polaris series.